Put on your goggles. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, here to expose you to powerful rays of technical expertise from a member of the Oracle community. This episode features a video sent in by Oracle Ace Associate Kieran Taylor. Kieran is Senior Oracle DBA and Business Intelligence Solutions Architect with the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, otherwise known as SEMA, located in the UK. So let's drop the clock on Kieran. His two minutes starts. Hi, I'm going to be talking about StatsPack. So you need to understand what your database is doing at a particular time. First thing you'll do is look at the Active Workload Repository, an easy GUI screen that um, in you can use to investigate any performance issues. Say you're a standard edition or you're not licensed for diagnostic and tuning pack that is needed for to use the active workload repository, StatsPack will be great. Um, StatsPack takes snapshots of your performance data and thereafter you can report between snapshots. Been around for many years. Taking a default snapshot at level 5, one per hour across two nodes, keeping a retention for 20 days, you'll be roughly looking at taking up about 3.5 gigs of space. Okay, let's get started. First of all, in the home directory, we're going to log in as this DBA. Um, first thing we do, we're going to create a table space that we'd actually store the data. Um, thereafter, we can actually create the schema. So we do the um, SP create SQL. Um, we're going to create a password for and use the password perf stat. This will create the schema. We'll choose our table space, which will be the table space we've just created, and choose the temp table space. Once this is done, the uh, schema will be created where all the performance data will be stored. Once done, we can log on um, as the PerfStat user. Once we've logged on, we can actually go and have a look at all the different stats pack levels that we can choose from. The default is five. Um, this is how we take the snaps. And if we wanted to take a different level snap, we just put the actual snap level we wish to take. Right, we can schedule these uh, taking the snaps. So we can either use Crontab to take the snapshots or we can use the Windows schedule, uh, scheduler. And also we can use database jobs. Um, either one of these could uh, you can schedule to create your snapshots. Finally, this is a great procedure to maintain your snapshots. Um, in the days to purge number, just put number of days you want to uh, keep your um, snapshots and just schedule this to run every day. Thank you. Was that tip useful? This is like a dream I've had. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Thank you.